So Zoro Universe team sent me a free copy of the Zoro Universe 15.3 Ultimate and it is my 30th day of using it. So hey guys, I'm Amin Sarkar and welcome to my channel Take a Boom. And I've been using Zoro Universe Ultimate for a month now and here is my review. Starting with the desktop itself. The desktop it looks so much like Windows 7. Like the placement of these icons, the tax bar, the system utility icons, this everything that you can see over here, the calendar, also the start menu is totally a ripoff of Windows 7. This uh, icon placement, this shortcuts, the search bar, everything is just like Windows 7. And it is a good thing in itself, don't get me wrong, it is a really good thing in itself because it makes it the ideal distro for the users coming from Windows background. So for a Windows 7 user for whom Microsoft recently dropped support, this can be the distro which they should start with for getting into the Linux world. And it's not only about the looks actually. Like talking about running a Windows application, Zoin OS does it a really easy way because they have Wine built into themselves. So uh, just like here I have Notepad++ and it is a portable version so if you want to run the portable version of notepad plus plus or any other .exe file we just got to double click on it and if it is not if, if it is an unknown windows app it's going to give this um this notice but other than that it will directly run it just click on run anyway and just in some time we have the .exe file or the, uh, the windows application up and running just like this so this makes it really easy to run a windows application and this way the windows users don't need to go through the pain of installing so many softwares or running the commands in terminal so this is a really good thing about zoin os that really impressed me the next thing that really impressed me was the app center of zoin so this is the app center of zoin and we can literally find every application that we need over here like everything i mean there are some that might not be available here but 98 percent of the applications are available over here so again join os team is saving us from the pain of installing everything through commands in the terminal and that's a really good thing for starters of linux or the windows migrants so this thing really impressed me again the next thing that impressed me was how easy it is to update join os so the way of updating Zoin OS can be done through the terminal obviously that's the basic Linux way where you go sudo apt get uh, update sudo apt get upgrade and other commands but again um, having an upgrade in Zoin OS is again easier and graphical again just like you just click on check for update I don't have the I don't have my Wi-Fi connected right now for some reason so I mean it's not showing me any update anyways but it's really easy just you click on this you click on this check for update if there is an update available it will show you click on uh, update it will update as simply as uh, doing it in windows system but again it's not just like windows just uh, taking so much time and getting things ready the blue screen update and other things and again buggy updates no yeah buggy updates that's the next thing i want to talk about so um I would like to tell you that Zorin does not always provide the bleeding edge or the latest repositories. And that's again a really good thing about Zorin OS because Zorin is the distro that is known for its stability. And that's the reason why they don't provide you with the latest updates as they might be buggy or unstable. So they believe in staying with the old versions which are stable and wait for the next stable version to release and that is something that I really agree upon because you know what having the latest release does not give you much benefits like what are you gonna do with the latest ones just wait a while for the stable ones and update to that because we need a working system isn't it the working ones that can get our work done or for something like Zorin which is about beginners which is about stability this is a really good decision made by the Zorin team and something that has really impressed me so uh, a thumbs up for that too for Zorin again so the next thing that really impressed me about Zorin OS is how easy it is to customize Zorin. Like let me show you, this is the Zorin appearance app, I put it on my taskbar for easy access. So you see you can easily change the layout of your desktop from here. Like uh, some of them are really exclusive just like this Mac OS thing. Like I got to use this one because this is the Zorin OS ultimate version. So thanks Zorin for sending me the ultimate version. 
and other than that you get most of this for free like this is the ubuntu one like you all are familiar with ubuntu sure to linux so this is ubuntu and this is something like dpin os if you know dpin 20 this is something like dpin and i guess this is something like that zorin brought first like i saw this layout in zorin first and later on dpin so i guess this is something that zorin brought and not dpin so it is really easy to customize Zorin from here also you can choose a theme easily like everything is crystal clear you don't need to have a good knowledge in technology or something else to do the customization the fonts over here the panel and everything and apart from this if you want more customization you can obviously install Quix the Ubuntu Twix the thing that is used for like tweaking the genome so yeah Gnome Twix can be easily installed in Zorin OS. So these were the things that really impressed me. Now coming to the problems, like some things that really annoy me about Zorin is that um, Zorin is sometimes laggy. Like don't get me wrong, um, the app management in Zorin is really good. I've run several apps together. I've run Kdn Life alongside Blender while exporting a video in Kdn Life. Also downloading an app from the app center and having multiple tabs open in Firefox. I've done all these things and the system performed really well. But again, sometimes out of nowhere when you're not even performing any heavy task, what happens is that Zorin lags. Like you try to open the files app and then you uh, copy something from one folder to other, you see that your screen, uh, your system has frozen. Or maybe you're changing the theme, it happened to me sometimes, like maybe you're changing the theme and uh, the screen freezes or maybe it stops working. There are many other issues, like let me show you some, like just like this one I encountered just today. Like I was using Firefox and Firefox stop responding so there are this kind of issues sometimes that really annoys me and the second thing that really annoys me about Zorin OS is the battery life like I don't know why I have had a really good battery life with uh, Linux in my laptop like other Linux distros that I've used Ubuntu, Kubuntu, Manjaro, Pop OS and everything else like really impressed me with the battery life but just like windows like windows does not have a really good battery life and using zorin os is just like windows but maybe sometimes even worse than windows the battery in zorin os drains really fast and this is something for which i am not able to use zorin os as my daily driver because battery in my laptop is something that i need regularly something that is something that is gonna matter a lot so i hope these things get fixed and after that maybe i can shift to zorin as my daily driver so yeah that's all about zorin os and i hope you like the video and if you really like it please don't forget to leave a subscribe and a comment in the video so that's all i'm mr Ka signing off